Hi right, guys, Mr. VPN here, and today we're going to look at how to connect to a US VPN server. Now, the US VPN servers are one of the most popular locations, and you can see by the list of Viper VPN locations here that it's it's pretty obvious that there's a lot of demand for US servers. Most, if not all, VPN companies will have at least one server location. Many of them have multiple server locations in the U.S. in different major cities uh, on the east and west coast. So uh, one of the reasons it's the most popular is obviously all the cool services that the U.S. has, like Netflix, Hulu, TV-based services, uh, YouTube. YouTube even blocks uh, some countries' access. And I was just trying to watch Al Jazeera the other day from the U.S. and and they blocked the content for US people on YouTube, which I didn't realize was a thing they did until just yesterday. So I imagine they block YouTube stuff in other countries as well. Anyway, it's pretty easy to connect to a US server. I'm actually in the US right now, so we're starting off in Germany. You can see my IP is showing in Germany. So if we want to connect to a server, I use Viper VPN now. This is kind of my, my new favorite VPN service. Uh, we're gonna disconnect. Now, you know, if you were in Germany to start with, you wouldn't have to disconnect. You basically download and install. I have another video on how to how to download and install the VPN app, which is super easy, just like any other app. I'm on Mac. They have Windows as well. They also have an iPhone and Android app. So we're going to click this little location icon here, show all server locations. We're going to look for the US. We're going to choose the location that's the ones closest to us are going to be the fastest. So obviously LA is close to me, that's pretty fast. San Francisco is also pretty fast. Washington's further away, so it's gonna be a little bit slower. Double click it. We're connected, our IP will pop up in a second. And while we're doing that, we can just refresh these. Here's our IP, we got LA shown here, LA is shown here, and LA is showing here. Okay, so other things you can see here, I'm using OpenVPN, 256-bit uh, SSL encryption. You don't have to use that much encryption if you don't want. Like, if all you want to do is watch Netflix or movies or whatever, a lot of times PPTP will be faster and if you're not worried about the security part of it, then that might be fine. I just have OpenVPN just because it, you know, it works for me. Uh, we've also got NAT Firewall enabled, which is going to help with more security stuff. Um, so Viper VPN itself, you can see they have different prices here. They do have a three-day free trial, which is available to anyone if it's your first time signing up. Uh, the cheapest one is going to be the basic, so that might be for someone who isn't worried about security or privacy at all, and basically just wants to connect to a server location in a country of their choice. You still get unlimited data, one connection, and you get the basic PPTP connection, and you get all the apps. Uh, all plans do come with online storage, by the way, private online storage. Now the most popular one, a lot of people are going to pick because it has all the, pretty much all the all the good stuff without too much extras. It's going to be the the pro plan. Uh, if you sign up annually, it's about eight bucks a month. If you go on a monthly basis, it's about fifteen bucks a month. And it's going to give you two connections, so you could maybe use it on your computer and on your phone. Is going to be probably the most common way to use it. If you have like a, a computer and a phone and a tablet that you all want connected simultaneously, then you need to get the Premier package. And that the uh, Pro package is going to come with PPTP and OpenVPN as well as the L2TP IPsec. Uh, I really don't use this one that much, but it does have some the features that some people need. But yeah, I basically use PPTP and OpenVPN and it all comes with all the apps and then a little bit more online storage. Also, as you saw here in the server locations, you get eight different 
U.S. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different U.S. locations, and then you get all of these other country locations, which, which all of them have several servers in one country. And that's it. You can see Viper VPN is pretty fast to connect to. They're pretty well priced. Uh, their app is super easy to use. I like that they have nice apps for iPhone and Android as well. A lot of VPN services don't actually make apps for some devices. So you have to install the VPN manually, which is kind of a pain in the butt if you're not a real tech-savvy user. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.